The Isaiah Factor Uncensored starts right now. And welcome to The Factor on Sins. And there is a shortage of just about everything these days. And now we're finding out bottles, bottles, the glass things for liquor are in short supply too. You may not be seeing it at the big chain stores, but your local mom and pop liquor stores, independents, they're likely feeling the pinch. We have with us Jason and Corey McCoy, they're owners of Bottles Liquor here in Houston. When did you guys first notice that there was a bottles shortage in this country and, that, and how it was impacting you all at your liquor store? I guess we first kind of noticed it like right during the, the pandemic a little bit, mm -hmm. and then it got a little better, but it's it's been up and down like worse because like uh you know for instance Patron is gone Hennessy's gone, um and when the big box stores buy it, it it makes it harder for some of the smaller stores so now they got to explore you know other brands so it's and if you got a bottle that's like shaped super funny and maybe with a cork top or something it makes it even harder to to source that bottle so the whole supply chain is is already messed up from the jump. So the shortage is a result of the supply chain that we've seen just about a shortage in every other market that's out there from car parts to bicycles to now liquor bottles. Yep, exactly like glass. So even from the paper to the labels, if it's a cork top versus like a plastic top. So like some of the brands might have their bottle, but then they don't, they can't, they, they can't source the, the top for them. So. Mm -hmm. It's all the way around horrible right now. So are the big box stores like the Specs and the Total Wines, are they getting priority over smaller independent owners like you guys? I think they do on volume base. Like if, let's say Hennessy ships like 20,000 cases, you know, they get to spread maybe like uh, 10,000 out amongst the stores and then probably like a Total Wines get the other five and they spread them out and then us, as the smaller stores get the rest, but then we we are LD, so we're a local distributor, so we can supply bars, uh, restaurants, and, and whatnot. So we're able to do it as well. So we kind of get, you know, we do take some type of work. priority. So not as good as we should, but yeah, we do get some type of priority. And when you have this shortage, what are customers saying about it when they come into the store? <laughs> Man, they pissed. Yeah, yeah. You just, again, we go back to trying to educate them on different different types of uh, brands, different types of uh, liquor, you know, with your palate. You know, we try to tell them, hey, man, try this type of tequila. Try this yeah. type of, uh, you know, cognac or, right. or you know, we like right now we try to when other uh when they come in looking for something like Hennessy or something like that, we try to push, you know, more black brands. Like, like Nayak. Yeah. Like Nayak Cognac, which is the guy, uh, I can't think of his name, but his his girlfriend or fiance or baby mama is on that show, uh like uh Love and Hip Hop. Right? Oh yeah. So this is Real like, Housewives of Atlanta. So this yeah. is his cognac. So we try to pivot them to other other brands like, like Martel, Cavassier, something like that, but you know, when you got a Hennessy drinker, man, he ain't drinking nothing but Hennessy. You got a Patron <laughs> drinker, he ain't drinking nothing but Patron. You got a Crown. You know, it's the shortage. It was the shortage on Crown as well, right? Had no idea. Had no yeah, idea. Yeah. So, Azul. Yeah, Clyde Azul. You know, some of the your porcelain bottles. So we you just not was able to get the LeBron tequila in. Yeah, the Lobos. We don't Jason, know how, how does this affect your bottom line if you're not able to satisfy the customer, have what they want before you lose them? How is it affecting your bottom line? Is it hurting your business? Um, I think maybe before it was, uh, you know, we kind of struggled with, you know, but yeah. I think that since the area has started to change and the more that people are understanding that, hey, it is a bottom shortage, now it's kind of like they have to almost pivot to something else. Either that or you're just not going to drink. <laughs> right. And we have to educate ourselves too, right? So that's the most important part. Like, we have to educate ourselves on Martel, Remy, um, Duce, right. any other cognac that's out there, Gautier. So we source other brands that we wouldn't normally sell in our in our store. Mm -hmm. So now if you go, like, into a specific store, so you'll start seeing brands that, we probably been caring for years, and now they're just not catching up, Karen, right? right? And also, also to piggyback on what he said, we uh, started to ramp up maybe the tastings. 
here in okay. the store. That way, people, when they stop by, they're getting a chance to try these yeah. different liquors that we are telling them about. You yeah. know what I mean? All right, Jason and Corey McCoy, you own Bottles Liquor in Edo here in Houston. And we want to thank you for joining us here on The Factor Uncensored.